What's up, everyone? J Bone here. Uh, I just want to talk about tonight's SmackDown, which is something I actually might start doing on a regular basis on this channel. I mean, everybody does Raw reviews, you know, and that's fun. And don't get me wrong, Raw has been awesome since this brand split, and so is SmackDown. SmackDown, obviously, SmackDown has a bigger uphill fight, okay? I mean, you've got the live audience, and you, you know, that's one thing. But then once you have that audience, you got to keep it, and that's the hardest part. And I'm going to go over some points of SmackDown. I'm going to start with the announcement, like what I put in the title, about Daniel Bryan announcing that he's going to be bringing separate tag team and women's titles. Now, I know this came out yesterday because he was at some radio station and was talking about it, but he actually said it on WWE programming tonight. Well, okay, it was the after show, talking smack on the network, but it's still, it's still, you know, canon, whatever, is that how you want to say it? I don't know. It's, you know, he said it on WWE, you know, viewing, whatever. Um, but that's not something I don't think they're going to do overnight. I think they're going to do that post-SummerSlam within the next month. Now, we saw positives and negatives with that. Positives, I'm saying we got the debut of American Alpha, okay? That was great. I have been waiting for this. They have been ready for a while now. Um, they, the crowd was eh. I mean, you know, when they did some other big moves at the end, they kind of woke up. But this crowd was like, was like pulling teeth tonight. They had some good spots during the show where they were like, "Oh, okay, we're awake now." Um, and then other times where it was like, "Is there a crowd in the building?" Seriously. Um, so, so yeah, the tag team, they need to have a strong tag division if you're going to have new titles. Now, what are they going to call those titles? I don't know. Uh, they have not said that. They just said that they are going to have some new titles, which it makes sense. If you got two separate, like you're, like you're running two separate companies, and they're competing. Raw just announced the Universal Championship, which is huge. Yeah, some people love the title, some people don't. Whatever. It is what it is. It's, they're not bringing back Ric Flair's belt. Sorry, they're not doing it. As much as some people might love that. I've got a copy of it around here somewhere. Um, and no, not authentic. Someone bought me a toy belt a few years back at a bar. So whatever. Anyways... Um, but yeah, on the women's side of that discussion that I just talked about, if you're going to create a new title, you've got to build up your women's division on this brand. Tonight was a horrible example of how, how not to do that. You, just, you had Becky Lynch versus Eva Marie ending in a no contest. You also had Natalia and, Carma and Carmella ending in a no contest. Seriously, that does not help your women. Now, I posted a little funny thing earlier about my wife, you know, not liking Carmella. Okay, I, I like Carmella, but I had to share that. Okay, that was hilarious. So my wife apparently likes Natalia and whatever. Sorry, Cam sorry, Camilla. Just, my wife's hating on you. Um, and then the whole Eva Marie thing. Oh, is she gonna draw some heat from that fake injury? Jeez, Louise. Um, she's gonna just come out in her bra and panties and wave her cape around. And then limp to the back. You know how long is she going to do this? It's just you're not. You know if if she's worthy of being out there, she's got to prove herself. 
She, she's already drawing heat. She knows how to do that. Just walk through the front door. It's one thing to be a great heel. It's another thing to be a great heel and be a great performer in the ring. And that's where she has to pr prove herself. So, great to have new titles announced. Got to get those two parts of your roster set. Tag titles, tag division, and women division. You got the talent on there. You, let's show it. Um, and this feud between Ziggler and Ambrose. I'm loving this. Seriously. Now, you know me. You know I love Ambrose. But um, I'm excited for Ziggler's chance. It, to me, it's kind of a toss-up. You know? Are they going to keep Bray Wyatt in the mix and make it interesting and keep him a threat and make it a three-way? It's not a bad idea. Why not? You're you're starting fresh with all these new rivalries anyways. Spice it up. Throw a major heel in. Or do they feel like they have to throw a major heel in because there isn't a heel in there? I don't know. But you know what? If you listen tonight, and I I was you know watching highlights of this stuff when I was watching the the after show on SmackDown, I I noticed I noticed something. You <laughs> throwing shit now. Uh, <laughs> if you listen to the crowd after Dean said his last statement. They booed him. They booed him. When's the last time you heard a crowd boo Dean Ambrose? Is my boy turning heel? According to Ant, from Rant with Ant, it would be long overdue. Right, Ant? You've been calling this for 12, 14, 16 months now? Saying at each pay-per-view, predicting Ambrose heel turn. Let's, let's make it happen. Uh, who knows? Who knows? I. That's a hard one. Um, and this feud between Styles and Cena. Wow, is this heating up? Challenge accepted. John Cena's going to whip his ass. Or not. Um, can't wait for this. this. This is just... This is just such a fun time for SmackDown. I mean, they're really, with the exception of a couple of things like the women's division, it, they're really building new feuds, and this is so such an exciting time for SmackDown. They just need to work a little harder, and you know, on certain aspects, like I was saying. Um, <laughs> freaking. He Slater just got gored back to Raw. Um, so yeah, he'll show up on Raw, you know, limping, because he's just getting, you know, beat to hell on each show now. Poor guy. Oh, um, no major comeback tonight, like I had thought. Uh, so hey, I was wrong. It was a guess. Wasn't confirmed. A lot of people were talking about it after I put up my video, okay? I'm not saying it was because of me, I'm just saying. People were talking about it. I'm talking about Victoria. You know? Why? I why did she put out put out that tweet? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she was supposed to be there and they changed her mind? I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know. Um that's not to say it couldn't happen in the future. You know, if they're bringing back more people. You know, we got Jinder Mahal. We got Shelton Benjamin coming back. Whenever that happens. Probably MVP has been showing up backstage at all these things. Um. Oh, what else? What other comebacks? Oh, I heard, um. Oh, I can't think of his name. Zack Ryder's old tag team 
Ed's head guy. Kurt Hawkins. Oh my god, my head hurts now. Kurt Hawkins, what I heard, was backstage. He's supposed to be showing up again soon. Where? I don't know. Probably SmackDown with Ryder. I've I've actually wanted that team to get back together for quite a few years. I wrote a blog about that on ringsidenews.com a while back, saying that that should happen. Now, after about three, four years, whatever it's been, uh, it might actually happen. And then we get a heel turn for Mojo Raleigh. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just throwing goofy shit out there now. It's late. I'm tired. Um, but yeah, it's... SmackDown was, I, I liked it. I was, it. It's not perfect, but I like the fact that this brand is getting new life again. People are starting to care. They just need to fix a few things, and I have absolutely no doubt to keep the guys they have, make a few more stars, work on a few key points, like I said, the tag division, the women's division, and they'll be right up there with Raw. You know, it's just smart booking for two hours instead of three. It's possible. It's not impossible. They can do it. Uh, if you guys want help, call me. I'm available. So, no, just kidding. So, uh, all right, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Uh, good night.